before I met this training, I really had this incredible desire and wish to really know our true nature, our true identity. I, for what I can remember, I've always wondered that since I was really, really small. And um, I also had such a desire to just be with people who could explain this to me, who could, who could really talk about what, what is it. I really just wanted someone to tell me like straight away. And, uh, and to be with friends, like r really, I was really longing for the Four Mainstays, even if I, of course, not had that language at that time. But to re be with people in my everyday life who also have this recognition. I was really just so tired of, of course, I, d I, I went along with life and I had a lot of friends. And, but I just always longed for this, to talk about this, because I have had these strong recognition really of open intelligence and I just wanted to talk to other people who recognize this too and I came to a point in my life where everything just shifted like um, I quit my job I was not in the university anymore I split up from a partner my parents got divorced I was gonna go out and traveling and I just saw how everything just it fell apart but it wasn't anything bad I just saw that nothing about my life can describe can describe who I am. No, no of the labels of anything means actually anything. It can't describe who I am. So who am I then? And again, that really was so strong. Like, where can I find a place where someone can describe this? And I wasn't at all, I wasn't really interested in meditating or doing things like, I, I wasn't interested in being in a training or I just like, <laughs> So I went to a place in Sweden where a lot of things is offered, uh, a lot of different trainings. And I, I wasn't really interested, but I was very happy to be there with a lot of people that I at least knew were really interested in getting to know who they truly are too. And um, Candice came and uh, I went there to, to listen to her for two weeks and I just fell asleep all the time and I didn't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> and but I really remember when she talked about the crystal ball, like everything that we can, that we think, all the emotions, everything that we can experience, all the sensations, is just like the reflections in a crystal ball. The base is completely clear, and no labels do describe anything of what's appearing. And that was about that was the thing that I understood, and that was it. And in a way, that was really it. And then it took me a year again, so I just, I, I just left there and it took a year again. And um, I was also in a relationship that was uh, turbulent and uh, <laughs> I came to India. And I don't even think that I knew that uh, Balance View was in India, but I stepped into Magic Park and uh, I just saw the banner and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this is it. Everything just came back. It was like I, I, I've known it all the time, but it was such a perfect timing also because I could see that everything in that relationship with my partner that was so turbulent, it was just about the relationship to myself. Of course, we are all responsible in all situations, but I could see that I couldn't recognize the self-love in myself and the, and the, the self-respect and everything that I long for. And and to just see that everything is just need to be harmonized in my own experience. And to really just, when I saw the banner, I'm like, oh wow, this is exactly, you know, that peace in all situations. That's what I want. Because in a way, I, I just felt so happy to that, that the relationship really demonstrated the climax of emphasizing data. Really the super indulgence of everything. And it was so good because I could see it doesn't work. So that was also kind of the end, and really knowing, ah, I just want, I just want peace, and I just want to relax. And then it took about, yeah, maybe six months again, and I was back in Sweden, and I started to listen to the downloads like 24/7 when I was on my way to the work, on my work, after work, like everything. <laughs> and uh, I didn't really know about the four mainstays, so I just. I just stuck to that very long and then I, I felt no, now I really want to go and meet people. I, I'm going to go for an open meeting 
and I went to, s I was living in Stockholm at that time and I came in and I think it was like four or five persons and I'm like, okay, <laughs> hello community. <laughs> but it was still so strong to have these people just demonstrating completely such love and such respect and I'm like, wow, it just, it doesn't matter if it's five or if it's 500 or the whole planet, it's just that demonstration of how we can relate to, to ourselves and to everyone, just that complete openness. And then I did the introductory training and I went straight down to the center in Sweden and did the 12 empowerments and it was just really what I've longed for my whole life. It just, it just confirmed everything that I've always experienced and it was so easy to just like, yeah, take it in because I knew it was just the answer to everything and to just see this harmonization with all the data that I experienced and all my relationship just such complete harmony again for s just stopping that indulgence and that that really disrespectful relating just became so in such ease and in such love in all in all my relationships and I just continued on and emerging myself in a lot of the trainings ever since and to have the trainer after having uh, completed the 12 empowerments has just been Wow, what a love relationship to always have someone to turn to really like that what I longed for really as a small child too to really have someone that I could just email whenever I have a question and just have the clarification someone that always reflects open intelligence back and nothing else. So the four mainstays really oh, the love of my life and for everyone it's so apparent how, how we flourish.